Now wait. Payoff period is here. Ito na, pinakinaantay natin. <laughs> <laughs> One more quarter to decide this game between LPU and San Beda. Dito na yung separation. Ah. Oo. Kung San Beda ba? Or Lyceum Pirates? <laughs> and from our quarter scoring here, nagpalitan sila ng dalawang quarters. Third quarter, it was low scoring and close. So kaya tabla tayo dito. And it begins. Kai Montano follows up his own miss. Tignan mo nga naman, siya tumira, bumagsak, ang lalaki. Paano na, paano na punta sa kanyang bola? So LPU is back in front here. Oh, perfect anticipation. Villegas will be fouled by Estacio. But how about the timing of Villegas to catch that pass? Ito, Montano, naipilit, wala, nakapunta ulit sa kanya. Made sure of the second serving. Reflexes. Huh? Good reflexes. Grabe ang mga guards, ha? Ah. Sometimes, akala mo, mahina rebound niya mga yan. Ang bibilis niya sa rebounding and also sa screening. Pinaka-quick screeners na mga yan, eh. And Renz Villegas connects on the free throw. Villegas, this is only his third point of the game. And his first trip to the free throw line. Yun yung merong advantage si Montano, no? Over the other conventional bigs. Kasi siya mahaba, 6'2", 6'3". Pero mabilis din yung talon niya at yung oh. galaw niya. Correct. Oo. Oh. Maano na, na two guard, two-way yeah. guard. Matibay. This is now the biggest lead for the LPU Pirates. And it's strange to say that because it's only four points. Pero kinayod yan ang LPU. Payosing. Parang ginawa na nilang ano, power forward si Payosing. Tunanan. Bravo. Nilagay nila sa ring si Payosing. Oh, long three. Will not drop for Montano. Now this gives us a chance to go courtside with Christine. Senna Christine, Christine, go ahead. We are where we want to be, but I need to see more from you in the fourth. That is what Coach Gilbert Malabanan mentioned during the huddle as he commended the team for being able to keep up in the past quarters. But at the same time, he reminded that they are they still a lot that they could show if they just let go of their doubts. Like that, because the coach, he can sense a little reservation from players that he is expecting more from. Katulad na lang ni Jay Inversosa na coming from a really serious injury ay nangangapa pa rin daw sa kanyang mga game chemistry. So let's see how this reminder will play out for, for LPU, Martin, and Coach Jerry. But for now, back to you guys. Thank you so much, Christine. Well, they need to be unleashed. It is a fourth quarter, especially now that San Beda is starting to get back into their rhythm as a team. Although, he was in miss the poor shot there. Para dito sa LPU, now is not the time to hold back. They need to leave everything on the table. Katulad ng ginagawa ni Bravo, pero ang ganda ng abang ni Payosing. Ganda ng help doon. Weak side help. Ooh, James will be denied. Kai Montano passing it to Payosing, who was out of bounds. Let's check this one out. Overcooking, Payosing collecting and cleaning up underneath. Ito yung tres puntos kanina na nagbigay muli sa San Beda ng Abante. Penny Estacio nails it from the top of the key. Ang layo. Oo, hindi na normal na close to the line. Yeah. Three points. Coach, si Yukien asking for a technical on Gail Montano. Kasi pagkatapos ng collision ni Payosing at Montano, Nasa loo ni Payosi, ni Montaño yung bola. Binigay niya. Binigay niya doon sa nakahiga na si James Payosi. Tinos niya yung bola. I think tatawagan siguro yun. Ito na warningan lang, Coach. Warning, warning. Ito, off the collision. Oo. Yeah. May tawag na rin. Ano? Di. Oo. So this will result to a technical foul, Coach. Sayang. Sayang yun. Yeah. So he's gonna get teed up here. Medyo baka natamaan siya. Siguro reaction niya. Reaction niya doon. Baka ginano niya yung bola. So si Andrada ang mag-free throw. You can. One of the best 
at the free throw line for San Beda. Pure on the shot. Mark, yung sabi ko nga kanina, yes, pag tumapos ng laro, gusto mo yung Andrada na dyan. Nandyan yung Sahonia, nandyan si Bismarck na yun na. Ayan na, papasok na. Payosing ha. O. Mga main guys ni Coach Yuri. In time, Villegas. Three-pointer, Daig! Connex! Ako, pating din tres yun. Pinakawalan ni Daig. Yan ang, yan ang hindi niya makita-kita ng taklong quarter eh. Yan. And we change hands once again. Payosing. Oh, kinulit. Naago ni Kunanan. Dailig. This time. Ooh. Stopping his dribble. And is called for the turnover. This gave us our eighth lead change of the game. Jonathan Dailig. Dialing and connecting from long distance. 51 to 50. Pero pagkatapos, kinuha niya yung dribble niya. Oo. Oh. Natawagan siya ng traveling. Oo, oh, nag-stutter yung ano niya, pa. Pero dito sa game natin, you have to keep the balance of scoring and defending. Hindi pwedeng score ka lang. Hindi pwedeng puro defensa ka lang. Hindi ka mananalo dito sa laban. Oo, oh, ito. Again, it's Bismarck Lina. Successfully fishing a foul. Jane Versosa called for his fourth personal foul. So one more will get him out of his game. Ito yung sinasabi ni Christine na nangangapapa si JM. Pero mahirap kasi yung bantay niya dito si Bismarck Lina. Pero ito si Versosa naman. May budget sa foul yan. Sige, busin mo na yung limang foul mo. Oh, wala akong problema yan. Oo, oh, wag mo na iuwi sa bahay. <laughs> Unang beses ko marinig yun ang budget sa foul. Puno, the shortstop. Kompleto ng puro na to. Nakatawang bata. It's a quick move to the middle by Jumel Puno. Barba. Sumisikip. Pag every time papasok si Barba, dalawa-dalawa masikip yung lane para sa kanya. Montaño. They have to get busy. Villegas driving baseline. Sumabit si Benny Estacio. So two free throws will be given to Renz Villegas. Talaga mga guards nga. Pag nakakita ng baseline drive, go on it talaga nila. Oo. Talo to si Renz Villegas. Oo. Kumpiyan siya dun sa dun sa first step niya, no, Coach? Oo, oh, yan ang mga talagang innate sa guards yan eh. Yeah. You have to have that first quick step. Hindi mm -hmm. pwedeng puro on the, oh, off the ball lagi ang atake mo. Yeah. At itong si... Penny Estacio rin naman. Is a good guard defender. Oh, nakita mo naman yung tinira kanina, ang layo. Oh, yeah. Pero yun nga, you have to keep the balance, scoring, kailangan dumidepensya ka rin. Going up against Kunanan, Villegas, Barba, yeah. fully loaded lahat ng mga katapat niya. So, ito yung nire-review ng uh, officials natin. Was it on that move, quick move by the baseline, ito ni Renz Villegas. Here's the blow by, Andon. Oh, okay. Okay, Bismarck. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Kasi pag landing ni Villegas, derecho siya sa harap nito ni Bismarck Lina. Oh, Kung tinamaan pa. Kaya you have to be wary sa mga ganong mga second motion. Oh, yeah. Kita sa ano natin yan, sa mga review. Yeah, diba? That's right. Oh. Ayan. 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 Si referee Glenn, kita. kinakausap si Coach Gilbert. Ah, flop. So, natawagan pa ng... Uh, flop. Warning. Warning. Warning for faking a foul. Villegas for faking a foul. Okay. So, hindi pa pumabor yun para sa LPU. Pero may foul na yan. Ah, yeah. He has yeah. to take those free throws. So, oh. two free throws pa rin, coach, para kay Renz Villegas. Na warning yun lang siya. A second infraction will uh, result to a technical foul. Villegas. So now it's just a warning. Villegas taking two. It's Villegas drops in the first free throw. Three picks down line up here in San Beda. 
Puno, Andrada, and Lina. Oh. Oh, with Estancio. Again, Nigel Gonzalez, it looks like he won't be able to return in this game because of the injury he suffered earlier. And he was bleeding from the nose. Lead us back with LPU. Pinasok na rin si Barba. Si Barba na medyo hindi pa nakukuha yung kanyang rhythm. Brian Sahonia goes down the middle. Here's Ato. Villegas is on the move. He stops. Sends it out. Barba has space. Ooh, that one rimmed out. Tira niya naman yun. Okay lang. Has in finish day though. Tsaka number one scorer nila yan eh. Deep in tie sila dyan kaya ito, Barba. Lina, wala. Baka pagod na rin si Bismarck Lina. Kanina, ang hihirap ng pinibot niya. Kaya-kaya. Pero ngayon, siguro two, three possessions niya. Medyo nag-miss na siya. Villegas. Renz. That's on Brian Sahonia. Up against uh, Kyle Montano. 5 and 13 to go. Ato Barba. Look at that the coach. Yeah, Montano and Sahonia. So on the right side, uh, right side of your screens. Yung mga dumpy, yung yeah. mga tukod. Kaka-impid ng galaw ng player yan eh. Yeah. Oh, so, lala ko scorer ka. Kakaasal yun. Nakawakawaka ka minsan. Matawagan talaga yun. Frizosa left it short. Oh! oh. Daile getting into the scene. Oh, that's a foul on Ato Barba. Tingnan natin ito. On the rebound. It was actually the Ile who oh, beats for the ball. Uh, Salpukan lang yan. Halfway through the fourth quarter. Astacio. Floor general for the Red Lions. Sahonia. Sahonia turns around. Too strong. The Ile. Yan, maganda ginagawa ni Tahilig. Yan, rebounding. Kung di man siya nakakasyon, at least natutulungan niya yung sila Bersosa sa rebounding. Mas wala pa si Bravo. Ato Barba. Tapikan sa likod ni Brian Sahonia. So, 13 to work with for LPU. And Coach Gilbert wants to make sure of this play. Timeout on the floor. And then falls to the attacking to the basket. Lead is down to two for Pinyot. Torres. Sanko. Pumumba sa ilalim. Mindes. Sanchez cleans it up. an update on our two key players. Lina getting the upper hand so far because Ato Barba has been struggling from the field. Only four points for Barba. He does have three rebounds and four assists but he has gone zero out of ten from the field and zero out of six from three-point range. Bismarck Lina though has been doing a lot for the Red Lions. 10.6 points. Oh, major long day for <laughs> Ato Barba. Pero okay lang. Walang problema yan dahil ano naman eh, at least nakastay sa kanya yung defender tulad nila sa hole niya. Ang hinahanap naman ni Barba yung slight opening eh, na mag-trigger ng score niya eh. Yeah. Kaya si Lina naman, pumapasa din na big guy to eh. Ooh! Montano saves it. That was a close call for LPU. Nailig, call up, jumper, got it! Classic move! Para mga Tracy McGrady yung mga gano'ng yeah. move eh, no? Sakto. Nakatawa yung mga gano'ng eh. Yung ano lang, just inside the arc. Oo, parang lost art na yan. Hindi ko na naman sa ito nakikita yung ganyan mo. Puno! Tie 
Rise it up! Tome El Puno with a big three! Fifty-five ball. Daileg. Short. Oh. Loose ball ending up with Versosa. Erased by Sahonia. Pinasa pa niya. Ni si Versosa. Two guys on him. Dapat. Pinalami niya na yun. Pinatras niya na yun. Brian Sahonia with the basketball. Sahonia for three. Barba, outlet. Villegas behind the back for Brizosa, but what a block by Sahonia. Brizosa tries again, and he scores on the follow-up. <laughs> what a game so far. 57. 55 ball is tapped from behind by Versosa. So both ends, coach. Nakakagawa diferencia dito si JM Versosa. Here's the pull up jumper by Jonathan Daileg. Big time hit from the first year player. But quickly countered by Jomel Punos, three pointer. And then here's the play. Villegas with behind the back going to Versosa. Denied initially. But he's stuck with the play, Coach Jerry. And now we have a two-point game. Hala ko short, hindi diretso yung follow through. Medina. 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 Zone to, naka 1-3-1 niya na sa San Sebastian. Trying to get into their zone offense. JRU wants to get that shooter loading on the corner. Wow, Raimundo staring down Risho. And a chance to complete the three-point play. Back to the ball game. Tropa ka muna tayo. Sa mga magtutropa. Natutuwa sa laban natin. Why not? We are being gifted to this fantastic game between LPU and Sandeda. But right now, medyo nakakabahan na sila. Ayan, nag-enjoy pa rin yung uh, kids natin, our pedants in attendance. Coach, interesting uh, trivia here from uh, our Sultan of Stats from Duhanes. LPU is the number one offensive team in the league. They put up 82 points per game. San Beda contains their opponents the lowest points per contest at about 66 points per game. So this low scoring affair, so technically, just basing it off the numbers, it should favor San Beda. Kasi para sa LPU, hindi nila nanalaro yung kanilang up and down game. Yes, oh, pero yun naman ang gusto nilang mangyari. It's to play it by number one, play it by quarter. Yeah. Number one, played by Quartner, hindi ma-disrupt nila yung Sandeda. Yung numbers ka, kasi sometimes receiving yan eh, medyo nakaka, kung ibe-base mo yung laro. Pero gusto na ni Coach Gilbert itong, itong ano na to, itong sitwasyon na to. Dahil nakakita mo kayo yun, start nga sa ng mga players, uh -huh. mga, di ba? <laughs> mga role players. That bought some time for uh, his usual suspects. Menard Sungkuya getting ready to check back in. Si J.M. Versosa fouled out. Kaya napalitan na siya dito ni Genesis Aviles. Bismarck Lina splits his free throws. Maganda yung ginagawa nila. Babax out si Aviles. Ang re-rebound si Tahine. Ah, yeah. Kasi kung kukunin pa ni Aviles yung rebound, hindi niya na magagawa yun while boxing out Bismarck Lina. Yeah, that's right, Coach. Coach, Sandrade is now 8 out of 17 from the free throw line. J.M. Bravo. Misses Daileg getting into the mix. Way to be here, Ryan Friedman. Yeah, yeah. Accurate the shooting. So they reverse the call. It's going to be San Beda basketball. Menard Sonkuya joins the front line with uh, Jomel Puno and Yukian Andrada. So Lina will take a breather. This part, Lina, with 11 points and 7 boards. Ayan, hassle. Hassle ang hinahanap nila rito kay Sonkoya. 
very great sa kini itong bata na to. Good defender. Pwede rin ang offense. Ayun po, medyo. Oh, uh, hesitate ng matagal. <laughs> Sobrang bilis ng paa. Crucial, crucial turnover committed by Estacio. Medyo, oo, oh, oh, bira mangyari sa San Beda team ito. Tignan natin to. Abuelo si Penny Estacio. Went right. Oh, yeah. On the pickup. Oh. oh. Na-excite siya eh. Si Bravo. Malaking mabagal. Ganda na nung umpisa. San Beda. That, that was their fourth turnover here in the fourth. As we head into deep water territory. The final two minutes of this game. JM Bravo gets crowded inside. But he successfully draws the foul. Good oh, roll. Coming from uh, Bravo. Tapos pinakita ni Barba. Di no double siya. O pa pick and roll. Ayun. And this Mark Lina is back in the game after just a quick rest. Two free throws for JM Bravo. He has been there twice already. He has taken four shots. Three out of four. But he calmly sings the first. Suave and suave. Walang kakabakaba. Pero malik sa critic si Coach Yuri. Ngayon. Hoping baka ma-neutralize nila, ma-stabilize nila yung laro through rebounding and through, ano mo na, presence sa gitna. Bravo. This is the second. So it remains a one-possession game here. 58 to 56. Penny will call the shots. Sahonia. Brian still has it. Ooh! Pagsak si Bismarck Lina dito and they called the foul on Kunanan. That wasn't good because they're already in the penalty. Oh, that's his penalty. Ako nagpapareview ata si Coach Gilbert ng tawag doon. Yeah. He's been uh, animated on that bench since maybe our second quarter, no coach? Oo, oh, para matumba naman din si Gilbert. Smart play na ron. Eh, yeah. Excessive din yung force na ginamit. Siguro yung kung ano man yun. Uy! He misses the first. Lina struggling a little bit from the line. Three out of eight now from the charity stripe. Ito, Coach, yung nangyari. Kunanan on Lina. Oh, yeah, they uh, had the case. Yes. Oh. Nadulas lang. Na, oh. Na, Malina. Wrong footing lang siguro. Landing. Uh, Hindi naman natulak yun. Kitang-kita sa video. And Lina goes one out of two. Minute and 27 seconds remaining. Maganda na yan, si Dina. I mean, coming from an injury, career threatening injury, okay na yung nilalaro. Pero si Song Kuya yung ginagamit ni Coach Yuri pang depensa dito. Renz Villegas with 12 to shoot. Renz, corner, Kunana! Too strong! And San Beda collects the rebound. It's with John El Puno. Trying to find either Estacio or Sahonia. They get it to Brian. Under a minute left. Oh, more of an ISO place na sila rito. Sahonia, active hands. Getting into the passing lane there was Gael Montano. Six to shoot for Coach Yuri. He'll call a timeout to draw something up. brand new collection of awesome plays that we've gathered from the last couple of game days in the first round of NCAA Season 100 Men's Basketball. Pampagising muna sa number 10. Torres, Morales, Liwag with a jam! Here's Alan Liwag with a jam. Ending up with a Liwag jam. Meron pang mas matindi dyan sa number 9. Inside pa, Santos! Si Kevin Santos. Lakasan mo ba, idol? Drops the hammer! 
Here's another dunk at number 8. Antonio Sebio climbs the... Mga kabuso, coming up next, this will come at 2.30 p.m. EAC versus Mapua featured in our second game. That's gonna be another good game. The Generals 5-5, five five, the Cardinals at 7-3. You see there, joining the Cardinals and this is Nigel Gonzalez. Done for the game. He's not gonna risk. Yung uh, tamang nakuha niya kanina sa kanyang ilong. So we'll see him in the next game. Meantime, exactly 50 seconds left. Yan, maganda mga knockout plays ng San Peta dito. Baseline inbound. So tignan natin kung kanino pupunta ang bola, kung sino nga hanapin nila rito sa last 6 seconds. After the timeout play from Coach Yuri, six seconds to operate. They get it to Penny. Sin which nilan lahat. Estacio for three. Yes! Penny Estacio gives the lead back to the Red Lions. Ginagawa talaga ni Estacio yan. Tumitira yan ang crucial. What a play after the timeout for Coach Yuri Escueta, trusting his floor general to make the big play. Penny pulling the trigger and knocking it down. It's a two-point lead for San Beda. To the delight of the San Beda faithful in attendance here in Piloe. Akala ko nga kung kaninang sino nga hahanap yun ng curious ako, sino nga hahanapin sa atake. Pag estasyo pala po pull up. So if you remember, Coach, dun sa laban ng San Pedro, as we take a look at their schedule here in the second round, in that game, rematch of the finals against Mapua, in Mall of Asia Arena, it was Penny Estacio who drove it to the basket, tied it up, forced the overtime period. He hits another big shot here against the LPU Pirates, this time to give them the lead. And this could be our potential game winner as well, Coach Jerry. Winner, but, winner, uh, winner's attitude talaga. Uh, Pero surprisingly, nilabas si Coach. Yuri for defensive purposes. Pinakasok si Payosi. This is our 11th lead change of the game. LPU will set things up. Trigger man is Kunanan. Oh, Kunanan is trying to find a teammate. Munti ka na yun para sa LPU. Kunanan. Kunanan pressured. It stays with LPU with Six seconds left on their shot clock. For the mga defensive player, na di namin ni Coach Yuri dito. Tanda na switching nila. One timeout each left for uh, our teams. Kunanan again will trigger this one. They need to go quickly. Barba. Kunanan for the lead. Kaboom! Oh, Greg Kunanan! Forces the switch of hands. The lead is back with the Pirates. Ngayon lang tumama ata si Kunanan. Greg Kunanan. What a shot from the top of the key after going 0 out of 6 from long distance. Nailing his first triple inside the final minute of the fourth. Zero out of six before this. It's the biggest triple of the game. So far. We'll see the schedule here of LPU as we wait for the timeout, coach. Yes, oh. Grabe yun. Talagang parang binawian niya rin si Estacio kahit pa paano. Correct, correct. That was a big time shot by the captain. And I also like how Ato Barba did not force Kasi may step back na siya. Oo. Sabi niya, hindi, bigay ko kay Kunanan, mas libre. Oo. And Greg Kunanan draining the long shot. But San Beda is not yet out of it. Itong nakakatuwa ngayon. 
Mark, oh. kanino pupunta ang bola? Correct. Ipapasok ba ulit sa si istasyo? Yeah. Kasi kanina, that, ano, eh, yung mga Coach, three-pointer. Review lang ulit. Before that shot, Bravo Kunanan okay, was 4 out of 41 from the three-point area. Oh. So that's only his fifth triple of the season. Oh. That's, le that's less than 10% okay. from three-point oh, range in season okay. 100. And he hit when it mattered the most. All right, Sanbeda with 14 to work with. They trigger it successfully. Here's Estacio against the Ileg. Estacio, another one for Penny! Wow! Big time shots for Penny Estacio. And the lead is back with Sanbeda. How about this? The pull up against the longer defender in Jonathan Daileg didn't matter. Crossover, side to side, pull up, jumper. Cashed in by Penny Estacio. <laughs> respect, Coach Martin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have to respect. Oh, him. yeah. <laughs> right. that, that kid <laughs> has a lot of guts, Coach. Oh, like a big time player. May pasi no kukuwamo, di ba? Parang ano, mas gusto niya yung oh. crucial moments, ano? Oh. He's really embracing oh. these moments. Tsaka nasa tabi mo si Andrada. Oh. At yan yung Jomel po na tumatama din. Precisely, yeah. oh. Coach, ito yung uh, situation natin. Wala nang timeout, magkabilang panig. Wala na. Coach Gilbert burning his final timeout. 21.4. This is a lot of time to work with. Penalty, Mark. Penalty pa pareho. Oh. So, so if you're LPU coach, no need to go for, for a three ball. No need. Diba? Perimeter lang, pwede. Pero tignan natin, coach, kung sino ang kanilang pupuntahan. Their main man today has been Bravo and Montano. Kunanan hit the big time shot earlier. I doubt kung magsasona ito. Uh -huh. I'm sure hindi magsasona ito si Coach Yuri. Trigger man, again, is their captain, Greg Kunanan. Guarded by Sahonia. They get it to Villegas. Renz has it. Barba against Puno. Ato Barba goes to work. Up and under. Barba, no! Barba gets it back. Another grab. Kunanan for the lead. Come on! Whoa! 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 Kunanan with another big time hit. Oh, Sahonia lost it. NLPU will escape with the win. Ladies and gentlemen, of the what a finish! Here inside the Philo Allegro Center, the Pirates Walled get it done in a nail biter over the defending champions. Wala na tayo magagawa ron. What a game. Let's check out the final sequence here. It was off the second chance. Greg Kunanan. Second triple. Down and good. And his only made triples in this game came in the final minute. First to give LPU back the lead. Another one to put them back in front. It's their captain saving the day. And LPU earns their sixth win in season 100. <laughs>